वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी एंड आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट ओ आई जस्ट फॉर गॉड अबाउट वॉट आई वॉज टॉकिंग नो वरीज I have scripted what I was going to talk. About. So let's talk about how to test physics in NEET. Being NEET aspirants, physics is somewhat tough, but some smart habits and consistent work can make it easy. As physics demands more time, give it more time. But many students can't make a clear conclusion. So I would like to share some points. Let's get to know them first. Modules. जो आपको आपकी कोचिंग एकेडमी से मिलते हैं, उनका क्या करें? So as per my opinion, use those. मॉड्यूल्स फॉर सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यूज ऑन अ डेली बेसिस जितना आपको पढ़ाया गया है आपकी कोचिंग से उस चैप्टर के क्वेश्चन ऑफ मॉड्यूल से सॉल्व करो मॉड्यूल्स में वो होता है लेवल वन लेवल टू लेवल थ्री हॉट्स हो गए या फिर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन हो गए सो मेनी कोचिंग हैव द मॉड्यूल्स विच हैव प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो Solving previous year questions is very good thing. Focus on it. Uh, physics needs good maths. So uh, in your initial days, you get to know the concepts like differentiation, integration, vectors. So focus on these basic concepts because these make the good amount of the maths that you are going to need while solving the um, MCQs or the questions for physics. So focus on your basics because the basic maths like trigonometry the trigonometry table the ratios your uh, theorems squares and cube roots and uh, vectors differentiation integration your identities of trigonometry those make a good amount of maths which is properly needed for solving the physics mcqs so focus on the basic maths that would make your life of physics easier The next point I would like to share is regular schedule notes that so make running notes of your class and uh, try to give the answers of the questions which are given by your respect to subject teacher for formulas um, make a separate notebook for respect to chapter formula and read it thoroughly again and again the next thing I would like to tell is the importance of एन सी आर टी इन फिजिक्स तो एन सी आर टी पढ़ना मतलब बाइबल पढ़ना फिजिक्स के लिए आप अगर एन सी आर टी सबसे पहले पढ़ोगे तो आपका जो एक बेस होगा वो क्लियर हो जाएगा उसके बाद में एम सी क्यूज फिजिक्स के लिए कैसे सॉल्व करें तो भाई चैप्टर वाइज प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन लेके टाइम लगा के सॉल्व करो शुरुआत से ही टाइम की बहुत प्रैक्टिस करो मैंने ज़्यादा बहुत ही ज़्यादा शुरुआत से टाइम वाली प्रैक्टिस ना की थी तो उसका डिसएडवांटेज ही होता है थोड़ा सा आपकी जब इलेवेंथ की जर्नी स्टार्ट होगी ना तभी से टाइम का आप सर पे टेंशन ले लो कि भाई टाइम में ही करना है दो आप कोई क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सकते हो और उसको आप पाँच मिनट लगा रहे हो दस मिनट लगा रहे हो तो आपको वो तो हैप्पीनेस रहेगा कि भाई मैंने तो क्वेश्चन सोल्व कर लिया बट एक मिनट के अंदर एक क्वेश्चन सोल्व करने की आप ये आदत लगा लो बाय द टाइम इफ यू स्टार्ट अर्ली then you are definitely going to get the practice of solving questions as one minute one question which is very very necessary शुरुआत में बच्चे उसको निग्लेक्ट करते हैं बच्चों को लगता है कि कंसेप्ट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग टाइम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या फिर आप अगर आज से कंसेप्ट पे ही ज़्यादा फोकस करोगे करो कंसेप्ट पे फोकस करो लेकिन डोंट निग्लेक्ट टाइम अदरवाइज यू विल वेरी hardly regret the time when you will be solving your neat question paper then talking about doubt solving aap agar mcu ki books use karoge to definitely you are gonna encircle doubts so attend doubt sessions by your teacher never never ever fear never ever fear for the doubts you have whatever may be the difficulty level of them because not everybody has the same brain so put up your doubts with full confidence and get them cleared up at right time when you feel next thing is very very important book of physics concept of physics by h c verma so talking about that book 
If you are preparing for JE or JE Advanced, you should go for solving the entire book. But for neat purpose, solve the objective type, which is given in which is given in uh, HC Verma. The objectives that are given in HC Verma uh, are very good and uh, they will help you uh, to achieve great confidence in physics. So work upon it. Next thing talking about when there are doubt sessions or any kind of question discussions or the concept explanations going up in your class, give up your 100% concentration on it and completely understand the concept which has been next thing you should also focus on the NCRT solved questions or the NCRT exercises that are given at the end of each chapter because sometimes the questions that occur in the need paper are as same as the ones present in the NCRT solved example or maybe the NCRT exercises. Then for a quick revision when you have tests or uh, unit tests or uh, annual tests going in your coaching academy have this book which is Arihant handbook this book is very nice it covers all kinds of chapters which are very important in physics and has highly important formulas present in it so it is very good book for revising more content and in less time um, for your satisfaction and revision you should make a notebook by yourself which which says short notes or maybe tricks or maybe f formulas and um, try to make short notes as see as i have made like all the important formulas all the important formulas of a chapter the graphs the important concept and whatever thing you feel important you should write in this notebook so that you can revise content because the content which is written by you later the content helps you because you are the one who has written this book so you understand it more clearly and efficiently so making such kind of books for revi for revision is very important yaravi ki do ncrt fir 12th ki do ncrt to 11th ki ncrt 12th ki ncrt in charon ko mila ke itni badi badi books तो so, आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि ये भाई तो बोल रहा है कि सारी एन पढ़ो तो वैसा नहीं है कि आप एकदम डिटेल में पढ़ो द बेसिक थिंग इज आपको क्या एन सी बैठ के रट्टा नहीं मारनी है फिजिक्स इज मेनली अबाउट कंसेप्ट तो जो जो कंसेप्ट आपको एन में मिली है तो मेरा बस कहने का वो मतलब था कि अगर कोई कंसेप्ट मान लो एन में है तो आपकी वो छूटनी नहीं चाहिए you should go through all the concepts which are present there and then link the concepts which are present in ncrt your coaching modules uh hc verma link all this concept and priorly make all the concepts clear and then start working on mcqs before knowing all the concepts don't start working on mcqs because what will happen you won't get that satisfaction while solving mcqs first clear up your concepts and then then start solving your mcqs so if koi naya bhi mcq agar aa bhi jata hai aapke samne to wo doubt session ke samay aapko clear ho jaye aur agar koi bhi nayi concept aapko milti hai na to jo bhi maine ye book kahi ki aise ek short book aap banao jisme aap apne khud ke bane banaye notes likh sako उसमें वो कोई आपने कोई नया फॉर्मूला बनाया होगा वो लिख लो या फिर कोई नई कंसेप्ट मिली होगी वो लिख लो तो आप मतलब ये बुक आप लास्ट इलेवेंथ इलेवेंथ आर को भी यूज कर सकते हो इवन बिफोर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंटरिंग इनटू द नीट हॉल आल्सो यू कैन यूज दिस बुक एंड रीड द फॉर्मूला इफ यू कैंट रिकॉल दे सो दीज वेर सम बेसिक टिप्स फॉलो दिस टिप्स एंड वर्क tirelessly because physics 
needs time and you need to give it time don't just fear because if you fear then you are going to tear yourself and uh, you will crash because physics is scoring subject and you need to score good in physics to get a good score in it so definitely you should work hard give it up give give it priority don't only bio 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 do bio has 360 marks and physics has 180 but still you need to work on physics it is very very means very important subject do later going into mbbs you will say that nothing is asked on physics but still for going into a good medical college college you need to do physics properly so just focus on the points i told you and uh, enjoy and learn some new things bye bye